How's it going everybody, Brutal Simons here and uh, today is the big day, Jailbreak 9.00 have been released and uh, we're going to be taking a look on how to update your PS4 and then jailbreak it. But before we do anything, I'm going to let you know that I'm updating from version 7.02 to 9.00 and for this process you're going to need a USB drive because it's different than all of the previous jailbreaks that we had. So before we do anything, head to your settings and go to the automatic downloads and make sure that everything here is disabled so the PS4 does not accidentally update to 9.03. Next we're going to go to the uh, network settings and we're going to enter uh, Al Azif's DNS host here so uh, uh, the PSN servers get blocked and the PS4 does not update no matter what happens so make sure to add uh, Al Azif's DNS uh, the, the primary and the secondary DNS to your internet connection before you proceed with this uh, operation. All right, now we've got this out of the way. We know how to block updates. Let's move on to step number one. Of course, you need firmware 9.00, so go ahead and download the uh, firmware update 9.00. Okay. Now that you have the uh, update downloaded to your computer, go to the USB drive and format it to a format recognized by the PS4, which is XFAT. So uh, format the USB drive to XFAT and then we'll proceed. Okay, start. Okay. All right, it's done. Now we need to go to the uh, firmware. We're going to copy it. Okay, go back to the USB drive. We're gonna create a folder here and call it PS4. All caps, okay. Then we're gonna create another folder inside this folder and name it update. Make sure that all the letters are caps, okay. Now simply we paste the update file here and we're done with the USB drive. All right, now plug in the USB drive to the PS4 and go to settings, then scroll down all the way to system software update. Click on it and you will see that there is uh, an update on the USB drive version 9.00. Click on next and then update. Now pretty much you will not be doing anything because the PS4 will be doing everything. It's going to be installing the update and then restarting several times and uh, you can't interfere with this. Uh, just let it do its thing. Uh, this update will usually take three minutes to complete. Then the, the PS4 will reboot and then you're done. All right, now when the PS4 uh, restarts, it will rebuild the database and it will take you to your user interface. Okay, now we have updated to uh, 9.00, as you can see here. I'm gonna show you that uh, the update was successful. And there you have it, 9.00. All right, now we're done with the update. We need to get the USB drive ready for jailbreaking. So go to the website and download the xfathacks.img. So download this. This is pretty much the jailbreak. Okay. Next, we need to download the Win32 disk imager, uh, which will make uh, the USB that we need to uh, jailbreak the PS4. All right, now we install this software just like we uh, install any other software just next 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 okay all right we're done let me put it here okay finish all right now we open the software and we select the uh, x fat hacks image that we downloaded all right here it is select it click on open and we simply uh, click on write make sure it's the usb drive and not some other drive so click on write and uh, everything in the usb will be erased so hit yes 
uh, don't plug it to the uh, PS4 yet, okay? So do not plug the USB drive to the PS4 yet. Okay, now we go to the web browser and navigate to the jailbreak page, chandochap.github.io P-O-O-B-S-4 and wait for it. The animation, uh, the loading animation looked like it frozen, but don't worry about it. It did not freeze. It's actually working. Just give, give it a couple of minutes and it will work. Now you will get this notification telling you to insert the USB drive. Go ahead and insert it. And when you get this notification that the system is unsupported, don't worry about it. Uh, it doesn't mean that the USB drive is not supported. As you can see, the jailbreak uh, failed first time. So we're going to try again and give it a second. There you go. Awaiting payload. When you get this message, it means that the jailbreak has been successful. You have successfully jailbroken your 9.00 uh, PS4. Now all that is left for us is to send Goldhan or Mira. So uh, from me, I'm just gonna go download Goldhan version 2.0. So there you go. Then we need to download the payload sender to actually send the uh, Goldhan payload. So download the payload sender, all right? Okay, now when you extract the payload sender, uh, just go ahead and open it, okay? Type your PS4 IP address here, okay? And don't change the port, okay? Do not touch the port, just change the uh, IP address and we'll be sending uh, the gold hand payload, okay? Now hit connect and browse has became available, so open it and uh, we will select the uh, gold hand payload all right and simply just hit open okay now let me just drag the window so we can see uh, when the gold hand notifications shows up okay all right okay i'm just gonna send it now there you go as you can see gold hand has been loaded now I will get the debug settings and everything else exactly like it was before. So let's go ahead and check it out. See if gold hand appears in the uh, settings. Okay, the debug settings are here as you can see. All right, now we will check the uh, system, system information. And there you have it, gold hand version 2.0B on 9.00 PS4. And now we will just go and test uh, some games and stuff all right just checking here that gold hand is here everything works perfectly and uh, we're gonna try to launch a game let's let's try bloodborne for example and there you have it it's working as you can see so yeah it's kind of a, a little bit complicated maybe for some people to do all of this but maybe in the future in the coming days in the coming weeks we will get an easier way to do this maybe without a usb drive even though this is an xfat exploits so i will just have to kind of wait and see how this plays out there will be a lot of hosts in the next days uh, for this jailbreak so yeah this is pretty much how to jailbreak the 9.00 PS4 and I cannot wait to test new games and other things on this version. Take care and uh, I will see you very soon in more videos, tons of videos actually.